Hello, Brother Mike. Congratulations on your 60th birthday. I want to thank the Almighty God for your life, for your family, and for your ministry. I bless the Almighty God for all He has used you to do. And I want to thank Him in advance for what He will yet use you to do. I want to salute you as a great captain in the army of God. And I want to encourage you to keep marching forward. That the Almighty God who has brought you thus far will continue to take you higher and higher. That He will increase your anointing, continue to give you wisdom, give you understanding, and give you new revelations. So that even through drama, you'll be able to win millions of souls into the kingdom. It will be well with you, it will be well with your family, it will be well with your ministry, and the anointing of God upon you will never run dry. Many happy returns of the day, sir. God bless you and congratulations. Praise the Lord. But you may need it, man, in case you wish to know why your daughter had suddenly become a night girl and a campus prostitute. Thank you. Wait, Mr. Philip. I'm very sorry for the insult. Please, I think I need to hear from you. Let's go upstairs, please. I'm very sorry. Mr. Caleb, come out straight before me and stop all these parables. Madam, your daughter had suddenly turned a night girl and a campus prostitute. And your son, I've been expelled from school for cultism. After spending three years in the university, your husband abandoned in the cold to fend for himself in the prostitutes market. Please stop. And stop all this, please. Stop this. Stop all this. Aha. Uh -huh. What a handsome young man. Is this your son? Yes. It's my child, Buddy. My only son. What work does he do? Since his expulsion, he has not been staying at home. He has been moving around with bad guys. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> The same enemy has been responsible for his dangerous lifestyle. This enemy has touched everything around you. And he only allows you to enjoy the profit and the success of your huge business now. But it's just for a short while. Oh, please. What can I do now? Any protective measure? Sure. Sure. Yes, sure. Please, you just have to help me. Can you help? It depends. Um, what exactly do you want? Since this evil man, the enemy or whoever he is, is using spiritual means against me, there's no physical evidence presentable before the police to favor his arrest. I want him off my back. Hmm. And what else? And my children, Bade and Mulade. I want them back to normal. Is that all? My business. I don't want it to be affected. I think that is all. Are you sure? What about your husband and your home? I'm divorced. Okay, but at least. What about your home? Yeah, I want a good home. My children becoming normal, responsible, obedient. Generally, I want a good home. <laughs> Madam, I'm sorry to ask you this question, but how old are you? Me? Mm -hmm. I'll be 46 by March. Because I can. I can see that the enemy is already working on you. What do you mean? Because you can no longer think straight. You don't even know exactly what you want. 
Have you ever heard of a divorced couple having a peaceful home? Have you ever heard of a home without a husband? Can you have a peaceful home while your husband is outside in the cold? The father, the mother, and the children make a home. I don't have a husband. Yes, you have. What? The enemy took him away from you and you must claim him back because he's your property. It belongs to you. The enemy stole your husband, stole your son, stole your daughter. And as you can see, he's already working on you. <laughs> what is going on? I cannot see your plan. It's all tricks. You are sent by my husband to come and preach to me, isn't it? Oh, oh. I have been waiting to hear that. Waiting to hear what? That phrase. That phrase you just said now. Mm, that expression, my husband. No, 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 I never said that. You said it now. No, no, no. Mrs. Tejuma de Maxwell, you even forgot that you said it now. Do you see? The enemy walking around your life and over your situations is no one else than Satan. Because John chapter 10 verse 10 says, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ said, I have come that they might have life and have it more abundant. Do you want to have abundant life? You want to have your life in full? You want this enemy of your soul beaten down before you so that your life can be full. Then hear the word of God in the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 22. It says, If you shall indeed hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what he says. Then he shall be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. Do you see? You want to have abundant life, a peaceful life, and you want Jesus Christ to be an enemy to your enemies? If you will give your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then he will be enemy to your enemies and he will restore your broken lives. I learned he had found a new life. He hired you to come and preach to me, isn't he? He did not hire me. No one hired me. The Lord brought me here. Emma, why are you calling at this time? What is it? Kati? Yes? Where did they say they... Ah, what? Who said that? One of our friends? Ah. What? What happened to her? Anna said that one of Katy's friends said that uh, she is in a strip club. What is she doing in a strip club? Is she watching the strippers? No. She's teasing herself, dancing and undressing herself before men of corrupt minds. What? Was she drugged? I can't believe that she can degenerate herself so low to the point of stripteasing herself. I can't believe she can degenerate herself to that extent. She knew the Lord. She was, she was so zealous for the Lord. She was so fervent until she began to gradually be, become influenced by those ungodly partners. But to now degenerate herself to the point of striptease in, in a strip club, oh no, no. Ah. 
Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I bring this girl before you and I pray. Wherever this girl is right now, pull her out Amen. from the midst of those ungodly yes, friends. Yes, Spirit of God. Intervene. Amen. And reveal yourself to her. Amen. Pull her out Amen. from the midst of those ungodly partners. Yes, In the name of Jesus. Amen. Then <laughs> Alabo <laughs> A to won ati a fe lupogiri balogun ilu elegbeta ko je ki ilu agbanyo tu ba o tu se kon so rin na degbo di alai mo se ipaya iberu ifoya ati ai bale okan ni won ko ba awon ara ilu agbanyo ni rin na degbo ba dide o na se bi okunrin O pe ba logun ilu o jeje meso arija soro pe ko na o sa awon ogun ilujo ki won doju ko awon ogun ilu elegbeta <laughs>